Hello. This video is done upside down deliberately because um, the reception is coming in better and clearer when my head is in this position where it's resting. So, yes, I may look funny, but anyway. So, today uh, we're sharing information about um, people, energy. So, for example, if you look at a plant outside, for example, your energy, your consciousness is actually in everything you see. That plant is not separate from you. You are already in that plant. Um, now, let's think about other people. Other people are not other people. We're all here as, let's just call ourselves, particles of love and joy and peace. We are togetherness and one. And we come here and we look through these eyes of these bodies. Each body, mine, yours, the other person, the neighbor, the next, whoever. All we are is lenses, like cameras, like smartphones video cameras, where, where different perspectives, different angles of viewing something from. That's all we are. So, for example, I am magnificent and universal supernova. I am just magnificent like a galaxy nebula. And so are you, and so is everyone else, and everything else that has a soul. Spirit, energy. Now, I've come into this body doesn't matter what my name is, it's not important, irrelevant, and I am looking at everything and feeling everything through this point of view, from this body, in this spot, in this town, in this language, in this blah, 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 all that kind of stuff, with, these, with this history and these things happening or not happening, whatever. And you are the same as me, with all your magnificence and variations, are looking at at everything through your perspective and your angle and your body and your eyes and this and that and that. So now think about that. If you're doing something because someone's telling you and forcing you or you know, oh, you're breaking the law or this is the law or we're going to give you a fine or you're not paying your bills or if you're doing something for other people whether to save them, or heal them, or help them, or to impress them, that's the worst one. To impress them. If you're a person who's trying to impress people all the time, do you know what you're really doing? Is you're impressing a perspective. That doesn't make sense. How can you impress a perspective? How can you impress an angle, you know, a side of a story? That doesn't make any sense, because if we take all these bodies away from us and left ourselves here, would be all spirit light particles and energy and love and joy, unjudgmental, enjoying everything. We don't have all this bullshit of these angles and perspectives and blah, blah, bullshit. So <laughs> think about that. If you have to rewind that, every body, person, all of these, you know, just like, and now we even have these devices we've created who are mini versions of us. They think and they see when you put your camera on on your phone, you see through that lens and from the camera's perspective, you know. Have you ever tried to take a photo of a landscape and you look at the landscape and say, oh my God, it's breathtaking, I'm going to fall off my feet. And then you look in your face and say, oh, that looks beautiful. And then you say, wait on, it's not capturing, that looks really small or... Where's what happened to all the magnificence? It's gone because the lens, the camera, the technology can't capture that. But our eyes, our brains, our bodies, we can capture that. We've been designed to be able to capture that. See how that works? So why would you something to impress someone's perspective or someone's outlook? What about your outlook? What about your mum's outlook, your brother's outlook, your daughter's outlook? 
Or are you going to go and believe in God's art book? Who's God? Who, who Did you talk to him? Did he tell you what he wanted? Or did he leave a message somewhere in some bottle or ancient tablet who you haven't even communicated with? You're just taking the word of everyone else. Of, oh, this is what it says. This is what it writes. Did you read it? Did you translate it? Is it in your language? So that's something um, we need to start being aware of. Um, and hopefully that will help you with a lot of things. Yes, that'll turn your world upside down because the world is not the way we think. Because it's already upside down. So we need to turn everything the right side up, so to speak. But yeah, it's all energy. We know everything is energy and we are made of that energy. And we are existing in the sun, in the weather, in the universe. All we're existing everywhere. This love, heat, this feeling of existence already exists everywhere. Me, you... It's actually us, not me, you, and them. It's us. And we exist at the same time everywhere. We, Because our souls are too big to be contained in this body. Only parts of us are in this body. Because we came through these biological smartphones <laughs> to look out with our perspective. And no, our perspective doesn't have to be the one thing and the best thing out there. But that's all they are. We're treating them like it's, oh, no, you can't say this to that person. Oh, no, you can't do that to them. Well, no, you can't do this. You can't do blah, blah, blah. I have to do this. I have to pay this. I have to buy this. I have to sell this. No, that's all garbage. That's all garbage. So that's what this video is about, this lesson. And the way I could get this through to you properly is with my head in this position. Now it's... How gravity is pulling on it this way, that's how I could get the transmission to come through. Clearly. Otherwise, if I stood up, I would have just felt different and I would have forgotten it all. Now, I'm just trying to think if I've left anything out. If you've got any questions, same as always, you know, send them to me, write them down, or challenge me if you want. But um, yeah, that's what it is. Now, now that you know, start acting like you know. <laughs> start looking at things in the different ways. Start, Acknowledging that, yes, everything is nothing more than a lens. And all these things where you're impressing someone or, or, or challenging someone or doing something to someone or for someone, it's all garbage. You know, if someone's left themselves in a bad position, then that's for them to snap out of what they've set themselves up for, you know, go through it. But it's just a perspective. You know, there are a hundred ways you can live a life or your process in the life that you are in right now but really it's nothing more than an angle of point of view and you're just looking at it with all this information that you've been given or you've looked at or you've adapted adopted to that situation and you're looking at things through those eyes you're looking through through that um I'm just going to keep going around in circles if I'm going to tell you all this kind of stuff. Then you've got personality and all this stuff. We choose those things, things we enjoy. If we like being bitchy, if we like being friendly, if we like being this, those are things we choose on the moment. They're not things that make us up because our personality is joy and limitless and it's amazing and it's everything and everything in different arrangements. It's never just this or just that. So, stop playing to someone's personality, you know. Stop being a slave to, to people's circumstances, or even your own circumstances. Don't be a slave to anything. Don't be a slave to anyone. So, you need to realise this, and we are realising this in ourselves, um, especially this day and age. We are realising this, and that is going to empower us even more, and we'll be better off. We're getting there. We're getting there. We are getting there. So, now that we know this, that and the other thing, what are our new interests? What are we going to do from now, from this point on? Um, and as I said this, the sun just came out. It's been cloudy outside. You know, everything is a reflection of our energy. Oh, that's what happened. A couple of hours ago, I'm thinking, oh, why am I feeling like this? Why, you know, I was out yesterday, had a beautiful time didn't do anything strenuous yet today i'm exhausted and i'm thinking if i'm you know this and that and evolved and i'm spiritually aware and awake and i know all this knowledge then why do i feel like crap? 
I just felt tired. I felt good, but I just felt tired. I said, I don't want to feel tired. I should feel energized and up and go. I mean, why isn't the body keeping up? You know, is it age? Maybe. Is it this? Is it that? So that's what I was saying to, and that's where all this came from. So it started a couple of hours ago, and then I just laid on my couch here, closed my room, I'm in silence, and um, and all this information started to come through. They started telling me this information. Um, so yeah, if we are out there, you know, then shouldn't my body reflect the energy that it's holding because it's holding my energy your body's holding your energy even if you're sick or this or that it does not matter your soul just like my soul and everyone else's soul is hugh magnificent and a magnificent it was it's it's supernovary galaxy nebulae it's that kind of huge expansive miraculous it's that big and only tiny percentage dot of us is in these bodies looking through these stupid silly perspectives and now as I looked at my phone counter it was one 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 or a zero zero one 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 the counter 11 minutes and 11 seconds so there you go I'm getting all these synchronicities telling you yep you're on the right track yep you're saying the right thing so yeah uh, what else can I say because on a personal note, you know, I live in an oasis. I live in a tropical oasis, although the weather is not tropical. I don't even have a tropical climate. And, um, yeah, and I'm thinking, you know, I, I, I went outside and I don't want to look at the plants. I mean, I want to look at, I love the plants. And I've got beautiful things flowering here and there. And I do look at the plants, but I just don't feel like staying out there. I just want to lie down. I feel tired. I just want to lie down. I just want to lie down. Maybe I'm putting expectations on myself and forgetting myself. You know, you know, you can't always be completely aware. We are working with these limited brain, human body brain, biological things. So, you know, fair enough. And we have to keep reminding my, ourselves so not to be hard on ourselves. So, um, yeah, come on, body. Keep up. <laughs> keep up with my magnificence. I'm magnificent now. You should be magnificent too. Same as the plants. I don't care if it's cold or hot. The plants should be magnificent too. Um, yeah, but these things do happen. But now that my attention has been woken up and I know about that, I know that my conscience is out there. Um, our, sorry, mine and yours together. There's no separation. The other thing I wanted to mention. So, for example, when someone creates a song, they don't create it. You do not invent it. I think here you are what you are. It comes from us, all of us, from the universe. It's channeled to you. And um, you copyright it. <laughs> copyright my ass. No such thing. It's a man-made bullshit thing. Um, so no one else uses it or they reference you. You don't own it. I don't care what law. You don't own it. Because that came from the universe. We all own it. If you start taking money for someone else's let's just say stuff and you know you want to break a copyright and steal people's creation so to speak and take money you know that could be seen as stealing but um but no one should be taking money for any of this kind of stuff because it comes from the universe but that's the same as everything we create because it all comes from the universe the physical and the spiritual universe it's a it's a frequency it all exists in the same spot and in the same time so no one should be taking money for anything we need to awaken ourselves to that because no one owns anything you don't own your creation your design or anything no one owns anything a bit of dangerous information there no one has the right to charge anyone for anything that's created manufactured or anything these are stupid economy games that humans play and they need to get rid of that once they get out of that mentality uh it'll the universe will open up and we will exist we will be able to exist in our bodies at the same time as in the will be our awareness and our ability opens up isn't that what you want don't you want to exist like space age and without all this stupid technology that you don't need we don't need technology 
We have the technology. We're forcing ourselves to live in these human body biotechnology things, and we're creating little technology, like material substance technologies called smartphones and computers and whatnot to work with. It just, it's silly. It's like God creating a God, creating a God to create a God to help him. Like, you've already got all that stuff. You don't need it. <laughs> it makes no sense. We um, are trying to create technology and say, oh yeah, we're going in the, you know, we're going to charge people this. Who? You're getting all the money. No, you don't belong here. It didn't come from you. Come from the universe. Just like everything. Knowledge. The, do you own physics? Did you use physics or some kind of intelligence to create what you created? Yes. You don't own that intelligence. Who gave it to you? Where did it come from? You didn't, you know, the water that, that gave birth to you, the food, the earth, the parent. It's all physical matter stuff. You don't own any of that. So how can you claim anything? You, that means no human can claim any kind of copyright to anything because they didn't create where they came from. We created it together. Anyway, I think you can guess the rest of that. Yeah, you can guess the rest of that. You are smart. We all got the same brains. You just have to stop stopping yourself from going there. Once you go there, you'll start to realize a lot of things and waken your own brain and intelligence, which is the same as all of our intelligence. We've all got it, but some people don't want to do this and labor and struggle for 50,000 years or 50 years to go to university and whatever to create something. Why? When it's already here. You don't need to do it. Just making ourselves do all this unnecessary bullshit when all we have to do is wake up to ourselves, wake up to our energy, wake up to our existence, acknowledge and understand that it's everywhere. And then we are here together um, we separate ourselves by existing in these little biological bags, bodies, whatever you want to call them, as birds, as dogs, as people, as whatever, as worms, flies, as bacteria. We came here to inter, to be able to inter-exist. So we all inter-exist, all creatures and whatnot and molecules, we inter-exist with each other. So let's inter-exist as harmoniously as we do in so-called heaven and that's really it how amazing is that information that we've gotten hmm? and let's stop making ourselves struggle when we don't need to stop all these bills stop all these fines and and laws and garbage and just be peaceful be your own peace and then yeah just inter-exist with the world don't do anything just inter-exist take it from me anyway very beautiful just going to show you what i'm looking at Beautiful.